going to make a uh, linear regression from some data. So first I'm in Desmos. I'm going to enter in a data table. And let me in, enter in the x's 1, 3, 6, and 11. And then I'm going to click over on the y and enter in 55, 51, 35, and 19. Now, I'm on the standard window, so I can't see my data. So I'm going to go over here to the upper right and click the wrench and turn on projector mode for larger grid and, and points. And for the x-axis, I'm going to do um, time in hours. And I'm going to go from negative 2 hours to 12 hours, just to give a little room on left and right, and count by ones. And then I'm going to do height on the y-axis in inches and go from negative 5 to 65, counting by fives. And then I'm going to turn off the minor grid lines for all those extra lines, get them off for a cleaner graph. Okay, so there is the setting, so I click out of there. And now, to get a linear regression line of best fit, um, Notice my data's in table x1, y1, so here's how you do it in Desmos. You simply type y1 to use um, the elements or the data points in that list, and then not equals, but I'm going to do tilde, which is in the upper left of the keyboard, and then I'm going to type in m x1, so slope times x1 plus b, and it gives me a line of best fit. And notice um, in the lower left, the slope of this line is negative 3.75, roughly, and the y-intercept's about 59.7. And the r-value is pretty good. It's negative 0.99. The negative comes from it's a negative slope, and the 99% means it's a very good fit of data. Uh, and so that's how you do it. Um, let me change the 19 to, like, uh, uh, say 20, 25, and just watch how the line changes. And notice my R value is not quite as um, nice because the data isn't quite as linear. So you can change the data, but that's how you do it. So the key thing is Y1 tilde equals M, I'm sorry, Y1 tilde MX1 plus B.